A warm welcome to all our viewers from Sunshine Place. I am your host and pianist, Marielle Ilosorio, and I am so happy to be back in this venue. It's been nine months since I was last here, and it's a blessing to be able to continue Sunshine Classics this year, although only online. We have a great lineup of five concerts for you, a very varied program. We already started with the first concert that was released last February 15, Nationalistic Music, the compositions and arrangements of our national artist Lucio San Pedro, performed by the Angono National Symphonic Band. Today, we are featuring two of our country's finest singers, Stephanie Quintin Avila and Ivan Neri, in an all French program. Next, we have the young and vibrant Manila Symphony Junior String Quartet. And then we're very lucky to catch solo pianist Ina Montesclaros in a piano recital while she is here after years of studying and performing overseas where she was based in London. And the final concert will be featuring Philippine Women University's very own Manila Piano Trio, their premier resident ensemble. The pandemic has been a very challenging time for all of us musicians. This is the first recording I'm doing outside my home in a couple of months now. Stephanie Quintin Avila has started her studies in the Master of Arts program in Contemporary Music at the University of California in San Diego. This year she was only online, but she's leaving in the fall to continue her studies in the US. And we're so lucky that we can catch her before she leaves. In the pandemic, she has also busied herself um, exploring the art of gardening and dog rearing. Ivan Neri, meanwhile, in this pandemic, has developed his own food business. It's a donut business called Weirdo. And he's also discovered an advocacy where he is training, um, giving free workshops to singers and aspiring singers through the live stream, uh, live stream platform Kumu. So they will be sharing an all French program today. The French language, culture, food, music, they're well known for fine taste, elegance, charm, subtlety, and grace. And although maybe we won't understand all the French words they are singing, I think the meaning will be very clear in, in the expression that the music brings. You're going to hear four of the leading late romantic composers and the operas they've composed, Gunos, Romeo and Juliet, Lalo's The King of Ease, Bizet's Carmen, and Offenbach's Tales of Hoffman. And then you will hear an art song by Reynaldo Hahn, and we will end with three popular French songs, La Vie en Rose, Autumn Leaves, and Him L'Amour. So we will start the program with the love duet, a madrigal called Ange Adorable from Gounod's Romeo and Juliet. In this whole opera, there are only four duets and you're going to hear two of them today. Ange Adorable is sung at the beginning when the two teenagers meet for the very first time and they fall in love with each other instantly. Although they are anxious because they realize that their families are enemies. After this, Stephanie Quintin Avila will sing an art song by Reynaldo Hahn. Reynaldo Hahn is a half Venezuelan, half German Jewish composer. He was born in Venezuela, but his family moved to France when he was a toddler. He's a genius at composing and he wrote 95 songs. He wrote this song, Le Exquise, the hour, the exquisite hour. He wrote this song when he was only 17 years old and the text comes from a poem by Paul Verlaine, and this belongs to a collection called Chanson Gris. This song is very quiet all throughout and depicts bliss, peacefulness of the hour of dreaming. Reynaldo Hahn was a protege of Gounod and a lifelong partner and friend of Marcel Proust. So please enjoy um, an aria from Gounod and the art song from Reynaldo Hahn.
Next, we will have two arias from the opera The King of East and from Offenbach's Tales of Hoffman. Firstly, Ivan Neri will perform the most popular aria from Lalo's opera. The King of East is a story of the two daughters of the king, Margaret and Rosen. Margaret is about to marry Karnak, who belonged to the enemy kingdom, but as an act of peace, they are getting married. But Margaret realizes that she is still in love with her childhood friend, Milio, 
who she discovers has returned after sailing away around the world. So she doesn't push through the wedding, but then she finds out that Milieu is actually in love with her sister, Roseanne, and they are going to marry. So she seeks Karnak's help to seek revenge and destroy the kingdom. And they plan to drown everybody, and people were drowning, but then Margaret realized that she was going to feel guilty. And in order to stop this calamity, she had to sacrifice herself, and she jumped into the ocean and died. But meanwhile, in this aria, Milio is waiting to marry Roseanne, and he is not allowed to see her before the wedding. So he waits anxiously in frustration and expresses his love and longing and says that if it's going to take any longer to see Roseanne, he is going to die. After this, we will hear an aria sung by Stephanie Quintin Avila from Offenbach's Tales of Hoffman. This opera centers on the four main loves of Hoffman, each love um, being featured in one act. This is the act about Antonia, who is a singer who is sick, dying of tuberculosis. And Antonia's father has forbidden Antonia to meet Hoffman, although they are so in love, and Antonia loves to sing with Hoffman. So she sings this aria, also expressing longing and that she wishes that Hoffman will return, and she is forever loyal to him.
Bizet's Carmen is a French opera set around the 1830s in Seville and is based on the novel Carmen by Prosper Merimé. The story revolves around the free-spirited gypsy woman Carmen and how Don José, a dragoon corporal, falls in love with her and how they both end in ruin. Carmen and Don José have just reunited after his imprisonment for releasing her when he was supposed to be guarding her. She has danced, played castanets for him, but in the distance, he hears the bugle call, which means he must return to duty. He says he must go. She becomes angry at him for wanting to leave her. Don José then responds through the iconic aria, La Fleur Que Tu M'Avais Jeté, or more popularly known as the Flower Song. He expresses how the flower she threw at him kept him going throughout his stay at the prison and declares his love for her. Don José has finally deserted his duty and went to the mountains to become a bandit so that he could be with Carmen. Micaela, Don José's childhood friend and who is in love with him, worried sick she searches for him in the mountains, despite the dangers that lie ahead. Micaela finds herself alone in the mountains, frightened. She prays for courage and sings the beautiful aria, Je dis que rien m'apouvante.
George Bizet's success in Carmen would not have been possible without the help and influence of his teachers. Early in Bizet's musical career, he was mentored by composer Charles Gounod, who wrote beautiful operas such as Faust and Romeo et Juliette. 300 years after William Shakespeare wrote Romeo and Juliet, Gounod set the story as a perfect subject for his opera, pairing the tragic and dramatic story with his lushful harmonies and sensual melodies that are evocative of pure and eternal love. For our next set of songs, we present to you Romeo's aria, A Leve Toi Soleil, in which Romeo sings of Juliet's beauty, glittering and radiating brightly like the sun. This will be followed by a duet, the famous balcony scene, in which Juliet pledges herself to Romeo, and they bid each other an achingly romantic farewell.
Famously known as France's National Chanteuse, Edith Piaf performed countless love songs that have defined French music in the 20th century. Together with songwriter Marguerite Monod, Edith and Marguerite wrote songs such as La Vie en Rose and Hymne de l'Amour, which inevitably topped the charts. Both songs undoubtedly captured the hearts of people from all over the world. Le Foy Mot is a popular song and is a staple in the jazz standard repertoire, composed by Josef Kozma of Hungarian and French descent, and the original French text by Jacques Prevert in 1945. It was then translated to English by Johnny Mercer, which is what we commonly know as Autumn Leaves. The song became even more famous because of the pianist Roger Williams' instrumental version of it which brought the song to number one in the U.S. Billboard charts in 1955. Voilà le portrait. 
We hope you have enjoyed this program of all French music. You see that all the songs are expressions of romantic love, coupled with feelings of fear, anticipation, longing, loyalty, and everything else that we experience when we're searching for true love, for everlasting love. And we hope that this has inspired you in your quest for love. And I'd like to thank our wonderful singers, Stephanie Quintin Avila and Ivan Neri, for sharing their talent today. Thank you to Sunshine Place for supporting this project and to all our sponsors and viewers. I hope to see you again. The next premiere is on July 15th, featuring the Manila Symphony Junior String Quartet. These are young musicians ages 17 and 18. They have all won prizes at the National Music Competition for Young Artists at the Cultural Center of the Philippines. And they have also represented us in competitions and concerts overseas where they have won prizes in Austria as part of the Manila Symphony Junior Orchestra. They are coming together, especially to record, to prepare and record this program for Sunshine Classics. It's a program consisting of music, among others, by Beethoven, Dvorak, and Sansons, and some Filipino works, Iyo Kailan Paman, Hating Gabi, and a Cebuano Medley. So I hope that you will all join me soon. Maraming salamat po. <laughs>